When it comes to providing the most diverse group of human tissue samples in the world, CureLine takes pride as a leading global biobank CRO that delivers high quality human specimens. CureLine executive, Dr. Harminder Singh. We are able to bring samples of varying ethnicities around the world. If somebody wants to do a, a, a research study in Latin America, Asia, Europe, um, Eastern Europe, Russia, so we are able to work in all those countries under the local regulatory uh, authorities. Researchers and scientists have access to more than 70,000 samples, including tissues, organs, and cells. The global company has adopted special technologies to keep the samples fresh for up to 72 hours during the time of transport and storage versus the average 24 hours. By extending the time by 66%, it enables access to a wider range of scientists who are in need of live samples for vital research. This includes areas in neurology, oncology, inflammation, and metabolic and cardiovascular disease, just to name a few. In addition, CureLine started providing high quality and reliable dissociated tumor cells, cryopreserved tumor tissues, and matching PBMC as a feasible and cost-effective alternative to fresh tumor and blood samples. For us, uh, the innovation and uh, coming up new ways of uh, treating a disease is very important. Specialized samples continue to be a prime focus for CureLine clients. CureLine has more than 90 clinical sites and provides human tissue samples to 16 countries. We are doing prospective collections, which is one of the major part of our business. Prospective collections are collections done based on your protocol, based on your um, inclusion exclusion criteria. These are short term but uh, really highly focused collections just for uh, your research. Dr. Singh says CureLine is one of the very few CROs that can design and successfully implement complex lab protocols as part of custom perspective collections. That's because it addresses key issues when it comes to ethics, medical treatment, and technical research. Ruben Galvan reporting for Scientist.com.